Hi, I'm Tom, and uh, today we're going to fix my Makita drill. <laughs> uh, I hate throwing away stuff, especially if they're working, and uh, this drill is only 15 years old. And the only thing I had replaced on that time is actually the battery. And the uh, battery lasted for, I think, about 13 or 14 years before I needed to change it. So this uh, switch is not working correctly. So I went online and bought a replacement switch. So today we're going to change that. But the funny thing is that uh, I went online to order the replacement part and actually it, it could have been cheaper to buy uh, a used, a, a whole new uh, used Makita machine. The part was actually uh, more expensive. I'm not kidding. Look, here's the part and here's the total. Almost 80 bucks, including uh, shipping and taxes. Here is my search on eBay. Uh, I'm sorry that it's in uh, Norwegian crowns, but you can clearly see that it would have been cheaper to buy the whole uh, uh, Makita drill instead of just the part. And yes, I did check a lot of other places uh, for the part, but the cheapest one that I could find was actually on eBay. Well, anyway, I hate throwing stuff away and uh, I like fixing things. Opening the drill is actually quite straightforward. It's just a bunch of screws. So the only thing you have to remember is to take out all the screws. And that should be quite easy since every screw is visible. So if it's that easy to open it, why is it stuck? Have I forgotten something or? Did I mention, remember to remove all the screws. So like I said, opening it is pretty straightforward. As long as you remember to remove all the screws. Okay, so now over to the switch. The wires are firmly attached, so it could be that you have to use a little bit of force to get them loose. As you can see, replacing the switch is quite easy. Be aware of the wires that goes to the, the battery socket. The whole socket is actually twisted around, as you can see here. So just twist it around and uh, it will fit uh, neatly. Okay, so this one is a little bit hard to see, but the switch should be connected to this one. This one is the back and forward switch. Just make sure the little pin is in the hole, so it will work. So now it's time to put it all back together again. It should be a pretty straight process actually. A little tips is to start with the same screw that I did here, the middle one. It actually keeps everything in place, so it makes it so much easier to screw it all together. The battery you see there is the replacement battery that I did buy. Uh, it's not the original one, but uh, the quality for it is really good. And it was uh, almost half the price of the original one. And 
And there you go, it's all back together again. And it's working. So, there you go. It was an easy fix, but the part was a little bit expensive. But I'm happy with it, and uh, I believe it's gonna last for another 15 years now. So, hi. I hope you liked this video, and uh, if you did, please click uh, like and subscribe down here. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.